and I'm to be scalped at daybreak. <laughs> and you are Snake Eye, a spy. When my braves return from the warpath, 
I shall broil you with the steak at the rise of the sun. <laughs> Red <and> cheap. <laughs> Quite an imagination the boy has found those turkey feathers in the woods. Now, the kid seemed to be having the time of his life. The fun of camping out made him forget that he was a captive himself. Mm. I like this fight. I had a pet possum once. I need to go to school, don't you? Yeah. Does the trees moving make the wind blow? My mom had five puppies. What makes your nose so red, Hank? I don't like girls. My father has lots of money. Well, uh, Red Chief, you think your father misses you now? Mm hmm. Hmm? Well, would, would you like to go home? What for? I don't have any fun at home. I like staying out here with you guys. You won't take me back home again, Snake Eye, will you? No, not right away. You can stay with us for a little while if you want to. Mm, I sure do. Hear that? All kinds of wild animals running loose out there. Come on. Boy's crazy. Crazy as a loon. Hey, hey, what's with Black Scout? No more playing for me, kid. I'm so tired you can scrape it off with a stick. Yeah. It's been a long day, Red Chief. Let's all get some sleep, all right? You gotta get some sleep. I thought we were going to have some fun. What kind of trappers are you anyway? Tired ones. Yeah, tired ones. Sleep. Try to be a good Indian for once, okay? Get under your blanket. Just a boy, girl. It's a savage. Bill sure was being a sport about the whole thing. But a few hours later, the kid finally got his goat. And that's not all he got. Sam. 
get some sleep. Uh-uh. Tired as I am, I ain't closing my eyes on him, and I ain't turning my back on him no more. Uh, tell you what, Bill. I know you uh, both of us going to sleep. I think I'll just uh, stay up a while and keep my eye on the little varmint. <laughs> you lie, Sam. What you is, you afraid. Because you're supposed to be burnt at the stake at sunrise, and he'll do it too if he gets a chance. That's ridiculous. <sighs> Let's tie him up. Nah, don't tie him up. Hang him. I'm going to go up on the little rise above the road there and run my eye over the contiguous vicinity. Ah, 
Now listen to me. Will you listen to me? All right, I've got to go into town. Now I want you and old Bill, or old Hank, to play Black Scout while I'm going like we agreed on, okay? What kind of game is this Black Scout? Oh, it's easy. Get on your hands and knees. Uh, what for? Well, so I can ride you to the stockade. Will you loosen up, Bill, and play the game with him? We've got business in town. All right, all right, Sam. How far is it to the stockade? 90 miles. Let's get going. Hey, Sam, hurry back, huh? Giddy up. Come on. Have a good time, lads. Giddy up. and slipped into town like a phantom, hoping to hear how much the kid had been missed. I spotted a likely source of information. Howdy, boys. I decided to use a subtle approach. <clears throat> hey, maybe I like it in this game. Isn't this game you didn't play with uh, four lads instead of three? <laughs> Is it perchance one lad missing? Uh, excuse me, isn't someone missing in the game? I wasn't sure if they were trying to hide something or not, but it was a relief to find a kid that didn't talk. I casually maneuvered on to the human henhouse clustered on the corner of Main Street. Right? Imagine an 80-year-old whiskerando fooling about with a girl of 40. <laughs> you know, all she saw was the dollars in his eyeballs. <laughs> well, excuse me, ladies, but I'm a stranger in town. I was just wondering what all the excitement was about. If you're a stranger here, it wouldn't interest you. The suspense of the impending financial showdown was getting to me. Speed was of the essence. I recruited one of the marble players to deliver the ransom note and sent the lad on his way. It was only a matter of hours until the big payoff. I couldn't wait to tell Bill that our troubles were over. Bill? Where's the boy? Sam. Sam. I suppose you'll think I'm a renegade, but I just couldn't help it. I'm a grown man with masculine proclivities and habits of self-defense. No one, no one can be subjugated to such supernatural tortures as I have been. Bill, where is the boy? I was rode the 90 miles to stockade. And then, when we rescued the settlers, I was given oats to eat. Only sand ain't a palatable substitute. And for an hour, I had to explain why there's nothing in holes. And how a road runs both ways and why the grass is green. I tell you, Sam, a human being can only stand so much. Bill, where is the boy? Oh, the boy. He's gone. Gone home. I showed him the road, and I kicked him eight feet nearer there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that we lost the ransom. But it was either that or Bill Driscoll goes to the madhouse. Uh, Bill, Bill, tell me something. Is there any history of heart disease in your family? No. Only chronic malaria and bad luck. Why? <laughs> I let the kid entertain himself while we anxiously waited for midnight. But little did I know that even then, the mighty Red Chief was selecting old Bill's bunkmate for the evening.
<laughs> well, it won't be long now. A few hours, we'll be on our way. Well, where are we going, Snake Eye? Um, hunting. Hunting? Bear hunting. <laughs> Yippee! As a matter of fact, your pa has bought you a brand new hunting rifle, and we're going to pick it up real soon. Now, first... I'm gonna get me some sleep, oh boy. Oh, no, 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 Barry. We've got a lot of packing to do. Prepare for our uh, impending departure. I'm sorry. I truly am. But I ain't slept a wink in two days or two nights. And during that time, I've been burned, scalped, kicked, bit, dragged, rode, drowned, and hung by the neck. Yeah. I've been a prisoner of war. I've been a slave. And I've been a horse. Now, I've endured all of that without any sleep. Now, there's nothing more this kid can do to me. Nothing. Now, you watch him, because I'm going to take a nap. <clears throat> Billy, you're perfectly right. Now, you just lie down there and get some sleep. If I were a general, I would bestow medals upon you. Night, Mr. Bill. Lots of money. Uh, 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 think you are a little high in your demands and I I hereby make you a counter proposition. You bring the boy home and pay me two hundred and fifty dollars and I agree to take him off your hands. Very pirates of Penzance. Very respectfully, Ebenezer Dorset. P.S. No authorities have been notified. $250. After all, we got the money. Now you ain't gonna let a big chance like this go by, are you? Let's go hunting, Snake Eye! Well, <clears throat> take the kid home, pay the ransom, and make our getaway. God bless you, Sam. Uh, uh, Mr. Dawson, do I have a word alone with you, please? $150, I think we agree upon, sir. $250, sir. You double cross me! Nobody crosses red sheep and lives to tell about it. Sam, pay the man. Do it quick. $225. Oh, yes. How long can you hold a man? I'm not as strong as I used to be. $250, I believe that's... Uh, I'm gone. God. Please, our business, sir. You double cross us! You lie to me! I swear I will! You'll never make it alive! I'll get you for this! I'll get you! I swear I will! Bill was a good mile and a half out of town before I could catch up with him. I did. I 